All right, let's see. Uh, we got the seafood case here. Uh, can't really see that. 41. I can hear the fans going, but I can't feel no air. is froze up. Get to these coils, you gotta take these grills out. You gotta bring them over in front of an open shelf and rotate them. Sometimes you gotta take these shelves out completely and, and twist them to get them out diagonally. Get all those out. You gotta take out these back shelves. You definitely wanna shut off the refrigeration. Unplug the fans. take the end screws out and also the end screws off that one and you got some screws in the back there so I got another one right there in the middle and the same on the other side then once all your screws are out you can see the ice there this panel here will lift up in front and then slide out to the back so you gotta lift the front and then push it, push it towards the back after you lift and you just lift it and lean it forward and you pull off the panel covering the evaporator. Flip that one over too. And then you can see the extent of the ice. It's blocking the whole airflow, but it's mainly just in the back. There's a little bit here air that can get through, but not much. And then they're overfilling these, these shelves. If you look back there, you can see the middle of that rear wall panel is pushed back it gets really bad up here so they packed it so hard that they pushed the wall in and that's gonna block airflow too so once I get it all defrosted and turn these on I bet you these these two right sides still doesn't have very much airflow all right now we're back to my favorite thing washing cases So sometimes when you think you've gotten all the ice out, you'll be very surprised to know that there is still more ice in there. It's ridiculous how deep these things go. It really is. But you gotta make sure that you don't got any ice back there. Because that ice, if there's ice back there, you block all your airflow. And then you can use your light to look down all the little, the little slots in the coil to look for ice. You gotta get all the ice. Looks like there's none back there. Oh, it looks like yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, that's good. And sometimes you gotta let these stupid drains catch up, otherwise it'll leak on the floor. Like that. And like that. See? Alright, then once you get all your eyes gone, you take the evaporate the top. You set it back into place until the back slides down behind it. If not, it'll get stuck up like that, you see? And push it back until it falls. All the way across. Like so. Then you fold the fan over. Okay, I don't know if I can do it with one hand. No. Maybe. Alright, you see? You get the top end first. Locks into place, then you let down on these. See? And then your top, your top doesn't come up and it's just locked. Then plug in your fans, all of them. Oh shit, got a problem there. 
see. So this one fell in. See how these ones over there? Over here. Fans are just real simple. They plug in right there. Like that, see? It's plugged in. And this one, plug it in. And sometimes they fall through. God, it finds me. What a stupid problem. I had to take the fan off and get that wire back, back in there from the back. It was a pain in the ass. Alright, so turn the refrigeration valve on, which I just did. And then I'm going to let it get cold because these things... The box is hot. It needs to get cold again. So, I'm going to let it get cold while I put my hose up. And then I'll come back and put these screws on. And then the panels. Alright, I got my screws in. And these here, if you look, they have that whatever that thing's called in them. Anyways, you put them in. Take that hat, put them in. And they fall into place. See? And that's how they go. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can get this pulled out some. Good to me. Good enough. As long as they don't push food back in it. And I can feel air. Very nice. Sit inside this track. The track that, that back shelf makes. See? And that's how the, the Husman cases work. Then let's go in our bottom tracks. Hussman RL4 and that does it and you just sit around and wait for it to hit temperature because you can't take like an hour all right I'm back it's been about 40 45 minutes so it's it's there it's good and that's gonna conclude this one so I've already done like five other videos that go over the same thing but if you guys watch it to the end and like it I'm glad you guys do so hopefully some of y'all this can help. I know when I was first starting, I wish I had something like this to watch. So, thanks for watching.